So what you need to do in order to create these very useful schedules for others to let you book a meeting is first of all, you need to make a change in your settings. So you go here to your settings of your calendar and you go to the point where it says appointment schedules. And as you can see here, um, you need to check this box. This allows you to create appointment schedules instead of appointment slots. Appointment slots is a feature that Google used to have, to have in the past. So now that we have that set and done, I'm gonna refresh this page. And as you can see, it comes with these very nicely uh, uh, appointment schedules. So you can start it to yourself, but in this case, I'm gonna just create one. So I'm gonna create one. And in this case, I'm gonna create an appointment schedule. So what I'm going to do is um, I actually wanna work, I wanna allow people to book meetings up until three. And then as you can see here, it's automatically being copied through the rest of the week. In this case, I want to say uh, sync with Bart. 30 minutes, um, I think that's a good time slot. Now, once created, here you can uh, have some details that you would like to have in there. For example, a location, uh, having a photo in there, uh, a booking form, you can ask the details that you would need during that meeting booking confirmation, reminder, those kind of things. Everything in there uh, the way you would like it. In this case, I would always like it to have a Google Meet conferencing in there. So I'm gonna save this one and it's done. So what I'm now doing is actually copying this link because when I use this link, other people will see this. And the thing is that, let's say if my, other people will see this. Now, as you can see, all dates are open and the Google Calendar thing is smart. So that means that, uh, let's say I've got a meeting uh, next week already in there. That means that that slot isn't available anymore. So if I would uh, refresh to this page and I would go to uh, the next week, let me see, so which week did we do it? On the 24th of May, then you'll see here that this time is blocked out. So it won't allow you to book, to use that time during that space. So it's quite a smart feature. And well, the next step is to actually add this to your uh, email. So let's say you're uh, having an email um, and you're saying, well, in this case, hi, please use a time slot that works for you. Now in this case, by clicking this link. Now I can obviously paste the link just down below, but I will do that. I would like to make it a nice, good looking link in here. And even you could add it to your signature. For example, choose a date that fits. So you can even add it here in your uh, the settings of your uh, um, signature. So that's not in your email, but just as an example. So that's how scheduling a meeting works. I hope it helps you.